injuries in the circus. So one thing you guys have to understand is that any professional athlete, any kind of person who uses their body as a tool for their craft or for their performance is going to inevitably run into some kind of situation where there's high potential for injury and generally it does occur. I've been very fortunate though over the five year career that I have had very, very few injuries and I've never had a single surgery. One thing I really pride myself on is never missing work. In my entire career from the age of 14 all the way up until now, I've only missed a few days of work. Once when I was 14, I was washing dishes and I had a really bad strep throat, and my mom was nice enough to go to work for me. And then a few years ago, you might remember when I got vertigo on the flying trapeze. But now I have a broken hand. I broke my wrist. This is something that stemmed from an injury that happened in Japan, and I don't really recall the cause of it, but when I initially got it checked out, the MRI and the x-ray were very difficult to read. In Japan, everything was a little bit inconclusive, and so they just told me to rest, so I rested. It wasn't until four months later, after I finished working in Japan, and I got to Vegas, and I got an MRI, and I found that the cartilage was torn, and there was actually a small fracture. And that's when I started to worry, because I wasn't working, I didn't have insurance. So I didn't know how I was gonna treat. Then, I also had a contract that we had to do in Mexico, and I couldn't even work that contract. Fortunately, when I was in Mexico, I got a little bit of treatment, and it helped, it healed really, really well, up until just recently. In the beginning of August, I was practicing trapeze again and nothing really out of the ordinary. Just caught a trick wrong and naturally I felt a few pops and felt some pain. So I went and got another MRI. Turns out the bone was fractured still. Either still fractured or refractured, we still couldn't figure it out. But anyway, I'm at the doctor today. I'm gonna get it all checked out. We're gonna see what happens. Well, all in all, I'd say that went well. He just referred me to an orthopedic specialist, so I'm going to schedule an appointment to see an orthopedist. Everything feels fine, so uh, I can go back to work if I want to and do all the things that I want to, but I, this time I think it's smarter to play it safe and actually see the orthopedist, see what's really going on inside there, make sure that the fracture is not disunion from the actual bone, and, and then we can go from there if we need to do surgery or if we can just open it up, take that piece out and throw it away. <laughs> But uh, that's good news. So uh, there's no pain and I'm human. Let's go. So guys, this is kind of a rundown of the injuries that I've had in my career. I've been very fortunate, like I mentioned before, but not everybody's as lucky as I am. And a lot of people also have much more dangerous jobs than I do. And as you know, those can lead to more substantial risk and more substantial injuries, even the cost of their lives. So please do respect that whenever you go see a show or you see a performance, what these performers put into it, not just their skills, but the risk and the daringness. I hope when you guys watch that, you'll understand that a little bit better. You'll have a little different respect for it and you can appreciate a little bit more what we do. So make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and be safe out there and wash your fucking hands and have a good day.